So looking at uh, the uh, ceiling of the kitchen, uh, we do get a bit of a thermal inconsistency in this uh, kitchen area, uh, just above uh, the fridge uh, area. Whether we've got a leak from above, uh, that's the only um, explanation that we've got for that so sort of thermal inconsistency in that area. And quite possibly there is a bathroom above that has a leaking shower recess or the like, and we're yet to test that. Upper level bathroom contains shower recess, toilet, a vanity unit and a bath, tiled flooring, visible floor waste. Bathroom uh, floor, nice and sturdy, uh, no real cracks or uh, issues. Shower recess, as we saw in the kitchen below, we've got that evidence of moisture dropping down. I do suspect that uh, rather than the uh, waterproofing membrane having a problem, uh, it is just an issue with these uh, taps that they're not they're not sealed properly around the tap spindle. So if I pull off that tap spindle, we can see that we've got a gap between the tap spindle and the tiles and water's running down the wall tile into that wall cavity and then running down to below. So uh, real easy to fix. Uh, just need to remove these tap handles, remove these covers, apply a sealant in around the uh, tap spindles and that would probably resolve the problem of the leak to this particular shower recess in this instance uh, um, a relatively easy repair and uh, the sooner that that gets repaired the less damage can occur to the surrounding areas. Water flow the shower rose is fine and no water hammer observed. We do, don't have any leaks uh, to the joints of that shower rose either. Just a little bit of uh, grout is needed uh, to the uh, tiling or the wall tiling above the shower. Shower screen also appears to be fine. Toilet stable, functional. Just this uh, fitting is just loose. It needs to be refitted. No uh, cracks to the porcelain and no leaks to any of the plumbing. Vanity unit, fine. Water flows good. No water hammer observed. Trap under the sink, also no evidence of leaks or the like. Bath detail, we don't have uh, vents to the side of the bath. I personally like to see vents to the side of the bath because when you fill a bath with water, you are naturally going to get condensate on the exterior of the bath and vents allow for that condensate to air off. The other issue that we get with the bath, and this bath probably hasn't been used frequently, is when you fill the uh, bath with water, you get expansion of the rim of the bath. That eventually breaks the seal between uh, the surrounds of the bath and the bathtub itself, and that needs to be resealed periodically uh, if the bath is being used in any building that has a bath. In this case, the seal appears to be uh, reasonably good and no evidence of uh, a real significant breakage. What we get concerned about if the seal breaks is that water's going to drop down the rear of the bath detail and that moisture in turn could then attract the likes of termites. So just looking uh, thermally at the rear of that uh, shower recess, we can see those thermal inconsistencies where that moisture penetrates around those tap spindles uh, at that uh, mid height or about a metre um, off the uh, flooring.